Okay. All right. Yeah. So um, we're here. Um, if the Lord has something for us to say, we'll be saying it. We'll discuss whatever comes along, what comes to mind. Um, there's so much working in me. There's so much working in me, so much that I want to say, and it comes and goes, and I don't understand the workings, but, but uh, I'd like to express myself to, to everybody out there. And so this evening we decided to just speak, speak what comes and see where it all goes. Martin, is there something that you wanted to uh, start with? <coughs> we were just talking about, uh, you know, you, you have your song title there, To Do or Not To Do, that is the question. And as it go, that's often on my mind and often brings me torment. And I think a lot of people can relate to that. You don't know what to do. And, and there's, there's the general law. You have your principles, okay, so you do this, you do that. But principles didn't help Abraham make his decision, right? Your principles are like, don't murder, definitely don't kill your kids. And so he couldn't go with the carnal reason. Right. It, isn't it interesting how God sets the law? In Genesis 9-6, yeah. he says, Whosoever sheds man's blood, yeah. by man shall his blood be shed. The people think the law started with the Ten Commandments, but there was all kinds of institutions beforehand. Yes, that's Mar right. Marriage, that's no right. murdering. That's right. The Sabbath. The Sabbath. Sabbath was right from the beginning. It wasn't something Jewish. Right. It was right from the beginning. Right. Sure. For sure. Uh, we're we're going to be expressing all kinds of thoughts here, ideas or, or truths that, that people uh, haven't maybe thought of, maybe they have. Right. Whatever. And, and just and to just to shoot the, the the Sabbath topic there, a lot of people will say, "Well, that's just law, law, law." Right. And and like it has something to do with the Ten Commandments, and it does. Obviously, right. it's one of the Ten right. Commandments. But the Ten Commandments were just a sum up, and and this is something I've I've wanted to express. People think about the Ten Commandments like they're religious requirements. Like God right. requires right. that we do this, 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 right. and then there's a few extras like and don't eat pork and do all these things that are burdens to prove how much you love God. Right. And they don't see that it's more like, and don't step off the edge of that cliff or you will hit the ground. I'm warning you, it's a bad idea. They're laws of the universe. They're right. natural laws. Right, right. They call them, right? Yeah. They're, they're there and he's, he's telling the children that he loves, and, and it's for the whole world, but do these things here, and that will cause you the least amount of suffering and the most amount of blessing. And whereabouts do people get the idea that uh, that spiritual laws come and go, right? Right. Like maybe Old Testament, New Testament, right. so to speak, right? right? Some people believe that. And yet the physical laws, the natural laws, don't come and go. They've been here from the beginning. We know the gravity's been here all along, for example, and there's so many other laws. Right. Laws that we don't even, we're not even aware of. Right. In nature. Right. Uh, and, and, and they think that those uh, remain, they're here to this day, but the spiritual laws come and go. Isn't the spiritual law really what is the, what is the meaning of life? And, right. and that the physical laws are sort of a demonstration of what life is all about. They're an allegory, they're a metaphor, call it what you will, a physical manifestation. It's interesting, but people, people, people refuse God. That's the problem. Right. They refuse God, they refuse the Creator. It's mm. amazing. And, and they talk about the fulfillment of the law and they have, they put it in such religious context that nobody even knows what they're talking about anymore. Right. It, there's a crime, right? Laws surround the regulation of crimes and the crime was sin. And when, when, you're, when you get sentenced to prison or, or, or some kind of judgment, whether it's community service or whether it's paying this penance, then then there's a time frame, and you, that's your consequence, that you have to pay this price. Right. And so they slaughtered thousands of their animals. I mean, uh, we're farmers, we, we raise animals, you go through piles of work to keep them alive, and then you take the very best of them, and you kill them almost senselessly. It's not, it's not senseless, but you're not feeding anybody, you're, not, you're, you're, just, you're just killing them, and that's the Lord's demonstration of how much sin costs. And, and you're striking on the word senseless. 
Right. God calls on us to, to do things that are beyond our senses, right. beyond sure. our reason. For sure. Isn't that interesting? Uh, and I wanted to get back to Abraham there, right? right. In Genesis 9, 6, I quoted what it says in the scriptures, right? Whosoever sheds man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed. And then a few chapters later, still in Genesis, Abraham is called upon to sacrifice his own son right. in faith. Right. Faith calls on him to act against the law that God set forth. Right. Isn't that interesting? Right. Isn't that interesting? That's an amazing thing. But people are thinking that they can worship God by keeping the law. That's not true. If you worship God, you will keep the law. It'll be formed in you. It'll be there. But if you think that you're going to please God by law keeping, right. it's not true. People accuse us of, of, of preaching the law. And we do preach the law. So I'm going to be sounding like, like I'm almost a madman here or contradicting myself. They accuse us of preaching the law. And they rightly accuse us, but where are they coming from? They don't, they don't understand what we're, what we're saying about the law. Well, they don't know what or why, why we preach They don't law. know what freedom from the law means. They don't. Because we're free from the law. Amen. But, but if right now, if we break the Canadian law, we'll be in prison. But Amen. right now, I'm free from the law. And it's not, it's not because we've done away with Canadian law. It's because we're not breaking it. And who's going to be put away in prison for breaking Canadian law? Right now, it's the authorities that are breaking Canadian law, right. isn't it? Right. They're taking they're they're taking constitutional laws. They're breaking them. They're 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 breaking right. them themselves. And 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 here are the people. They're not breaking those laws, and they're being put away. They're being arrested. They're being fined. They're being quarantined. You know, right. you name it. Isn't that amazing? And that's the because, times that and we're that's in. Because they won't keep the Lord's law. That's right. A absolutely. Absolutely. Until he doesn't let them escape. But Absolutely. It's, you know, people think that being free from the law means lawlessness. Like, like right. if, if, if you and I wanted to be free from the consequences, the burden of a Canadian prison system, uh, the conventional Christianity is saying, well, the only way we can do that is by getting rid of all the laws in Canada. Yeah. We want to be free from the law. So right. we just get rid of all the right. laws, get rid yeah. of all the consequences. Open the jails, let yeah, everybody just, free. Just let them go free to kill, and rape, and rob. And they don't realize that being free from the law means being free of your internal... Inability to keep the law. Exactly. Your internal inability to keep the law. And then suddenly you can keep the law and now you're free from, from you know, they, they talk about the policeman as the lawman. Well, you want to be free from the lawman? Stop right. breaking the law. Right. Defund the police, right? Right. We don't want any more police. And it's around. the same spirit. They and then they call for the law when they're in trouble. The, 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 Christian, the Christians are, are saying to us, defund the police. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. They're saying the same thing all the leftists are saying to these, these political establishments, you know, defund the police, right? Because they, they, they're, they're basically saying to the cops, you're, you're so legalistic. Right. You just want to punish us for breaking all these laws all the time, and we're tired of you. And, then, and yeah. we have all the Christians saying the same thing to us. Yes. And we're right. the police, and that's they're right. saying, defund the police. That's right. Stop telling us what the law that's is. That's right. You're not going to tell us what to do. And, and you, want to, you want to talk about the Lord comes to do away with the need for the law. Yes. Right? Yes. That's he, right. He's not interested in having a law that forces people to do the right thing. He's interested in having people who don't need to be forced to do the right the thing. The law isn't there to make us righteous. The law is there to show us that we're not righteous. Right. It's, it's there to expose us, to exactly. teach us. It's exactly. a tutor. It's a tutor. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Training us to godliness. It's the There's another subject I want to touch on, and it's well, coming to mind now. We can go all over the place we, we don't go. have a topic. Amen. Yeah, That's nice, isn't we it? Want. We're free. That's right. Free from the law. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you can just... Flutter on. Yeah, I mean, I'm the flutter by here. I'll do all the flip I want. <laughs> <laughs> and really, you know, it's, it's a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful thing to be free in the Lord. It really you is. You can talk it's about so whatever wonderful. you want to talk about. Um, and, and yet, you only want to talk about the right things. Right. You don't want to talk about just anything. You have a desire. You have a, an interest. You have right. a conviction. Uh, you have life. You have purpose uh, that you've received from the Lord by Him setting you free emancipating you right. and you're you're free to flow you're free to fly you're free to talk you're free to 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 do what's right and be thankful about it 
the thing that I wanted to get talking about was we talked to someone today who uh, who thought it was a horrible, horrible concept of God. Right. <laughs> yeah, that that he should uh, uh, send Israel in in the scriptures. If you want to read about it, it talks about how God led Moses to lead the children of Israel. He sent them to lead the children of Israel, and and. Uh, Moses ended up dying and, and he was succeeded by Joshua and uh, which means Jesus by the way and Joshua led the people of the Israelites into the promised land and God said horrific words he said to the Israelites I want you to go into Canaan he says their sin has come to the full I'm gonna give you their land I'm gonna I'm gonna wipe them out I want you to kill man and woman and child I want you to slaughter them all, wipe them right out. I want you to cleanse the land. Just hit the delete button. Yeah, that's right, completely, mm -hmm. all the way. And if you fail in that, they're going to be a thorn in your side. They're going to be trouble for you. Mm -hmm. You need to deal with them ruthlessly. Which is an expression of our internal state as well. That's the, yes. the allegory. That's right, you don't, absolutely. You don't spare a little tidbit and... And well, you know, maybe that, that's, that's, I'll just leave that alone. That's, right. I don't think God will have a problem with that. Right. And, 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 and I'm saying that in the nominal Christian world, people have concocted another God. And this fellow today, he was thinking about this, this God who would never, never hurt a fly. Like he would not command anybody to be killed. Mm, all mm, that mm. is a horrific story and those are all myths and fables. Th those are all concoctions that they teach in the Christian church and Judaism. Um, but they're they're really not teaching the, the true God the, the God of love. This is what he was saying And God just wouldn't do that and uh, and I I said to him two or three times. Yes, God would do that He has the right to do that. He knows what he's doing. He knows everything We know nothing and I'm not making excuses for him all I know and I told the guy I said I know the Lord I know him and and I know how he acts. I know his acts. I know his ways and I, I know that he has to do what he has to do. And anybody who accuses him of wrong, um, they're, 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 they're wrong themselves, and they're asking for trouble. That's in, all they're doing. They're in doing. deep trouble. They're in deep trouble. When you trouble. start faulting the Lord, you're in deep trouble. And they're against him. They're for against sure. him. And yet it sounds like, looks like they love him. Oh, God would never do such horrible mm -hmm. things. He's such a wonderful God, such a loving God. Yeah, he is. But then there are these the opposition the opposition to the Israelites, mm -hmm. to the Jews. And I'm not I'm not defending he accused me of defending the Jews. I'm not defending the Jews. I'm defending the Lord in his ways. That's what I'm defending. Mm -hmm. And not that it needs defense, but I'm standing with what the Lord who he is and yeah. what he does and, and how he does defending his it. plan cuz he said Absolutely. he would bring the Jews back to their land That's in right. their unbelief. That's right. And there That's right. He would take out their heart of stone and replace it with a heart of flesh. Yes. So That's if right. You can, if you can, if you can take a look at Israel and see that the Lord has taken them, returned them to their land in their rebellion, which is the exact state they left it in. Yes. It's like they went here, 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 yeah. here, and yeah. the Lord is saying, "Okay, now here, and now here, and now they're now they're back in the land before they got hauled off to Babylon." I'm going to bring you right back, and yeah. we'll have a take two. That's right. And they're right back yeah. in the land before yeah. they got hauled off to Babylon. Yeah. And yeah. Right? In their rebellion, in their idolatry, their fornication, all that. And he's just going to... So next thing we're going to see, they're going to go back and maybe get a little closer to Hezekiah and Josiah. And, and he'll take them all the way back to Solomon. Yes. Back to and, Solomon. And the, and the earnestness of David's yes. worship. Yes. Now, uh, p wicked people will come along and say, well, uh, our God can, can do violence. Uh, we're, we're free to, to do that violence because the Bible talks about violence. The, the Bible talks about all the murders and, mm -hmm. and all the horrific things that happened. Uh, so by the uh, Lord's instruction. By the Lord's instruction. So, so why can't we do that? Well, Are if you want to go ahead and do to? it. Right. That's, that's just it. Are they being instructed to? By the Creator, God, yes. and not some other God, right? That's a huge difference. Huge difference. He has the right to direct people. Right. People don't have the right to do whatever they please. Exactly. Every man doing that which is right in his own eyes. Right. People start doing that and, and in come all the other kingdoms to come and do those things to them. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. But he's, he's, not, a, he's not a sissy. 
No. And he doesn't put up with people mocking him and blaspheming him. And, 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 and you know what? It, if he can take that, and he doesn't ultimately, look out when you start treating his children that way. Mm. I know that for myself. Yeah. That I can tolerate a fair bit of abuse mm -hmm. personally. Yeah. But don't let it happen to your children. But, but if you came and you tried to pull the same stuff on my kids, yeah. my tolerance would be right down here. Yeah. That's where I would draw the line. Yeah. And I don't think God's any different. No. He's taken so much abuse. Yeah. So much abuse. And, and what a wonderful God that he should take that kind of abuse when he gave his son. Right. He, he, had, he, right. he gave his son for the sinners, for those wicked people. Right. who accused him and who did him evil. Isn't most, that amazing? Gave up his most precious thing. Yes. Nothing more precious. It's like, in, in a certain sense, not that the Lord has idols. I'm not trying to put it that way. But it's like, he set the example, right? He's, he's asking us to give up all the things that are of the highest value to us in our lives. Yes. And he set the example. Yeah. He, he gave up his. Yeah. Yeah. Right? He isn't telling us to do something that he wouldn't do himself. Exactly. He gave up the apple of his eye. Amen. And, and so it should be no great thing that he should expect us to give up the apple of our eye when the apple of our eye is often a corrupted thing. Yes. And he gave up something that he had every legitimate reason to love and treasure. Oh, absolutely. Something absolutely. that wasn't corrupted, something that wasn't yeah. faulty or, or, or flawed. So, so I had the dis this discussion with this fellow today, and, um, and he just... He just he refused to hear what I had to say, and and I told him. You know, he's talking about my interpretation of the Bible, and, <laughs> and 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 people are just going by their interpretation, and I'm and I'm saying no, I'm not going by my interpretation of the Bible. I am going by what the Lord teaches me, what the author of the Bible mm -hmm. teaches me. That's what I'm going by. You, none of us, none of us can have the right to interpret the Bible for ourselves. We don't have that right. right. And, and doesn't the scripture say that the Bible is of no private interpretation? Prophecy is of no private right. interpretation? We can't, we can't understand what the Bible has to say. Before I became a believer, a true believer, I had no idea what the Bible was talking about. I was so slow in the uptake, I didn't even know that it was Jesus Christ the Bible was talking about. Right. I was just... <laughs> I was right. just totally clued out. That's how far the separation is with religion. It totally separates people from Jesus yes, Christ. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. You, and, and you're talking about worshiping him, you're talking, and, and like you said, you don't even realize that he's the focal point. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was amazing. And then when I became a believer, when I got down on my knees, the Lord brought me to that, to that place. I, I, at the time, I thought I was doing this, that, or the other, seeking after God, fasting, and whatever. But it was after after he had delivered me from myself, when he'd given me that heart to call out, call out to him and acknowledge him as Lord, everything changed, everything changed. And I suddenly was able to understand the Bible. Not, right. not nearly fully, not nearly, right. but I began to understand the Cause, Bible. Because you have to have at least some glimpse of the author yes. in order to understand the book. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and if you just have the book and you don't have the author, then, <laughs> then look out, uh, innocent lives are going to hit the floor. <laughs> and there is no other book like the Bible. Right. There's no other book. You can talk about the Quran, you can talk about uh, all the other holy books of, uh, of, of Hinduism and uh, Buddhism or whatever. Forget it. That's pretty weird the, stuff. The Bible, the Bible has the history. Archaeology in the last couple of uh, centuries has proven the Bible right, accurate. Fools, atheists kept condemning it and saying, oh, that never happened, that right. never happened, that. And now even archaeology, the, the science of the dust, right. is proving the Bible right. There is nothing said in the Bible that is inaccurate in terms of uh, facts, locations, whatever. Sooner or later, it's proven right. Witnesses, people lay down their lives to declare those things in the scriptures and that, that we find recorded in the scriptures. Everything's, everything's been proven. Well, it wasn't that long ago they found uh, the, the tunnel that Hezekiah dug underneath the city to yeah. bring the water inside the city to a well during a siege. Yeah. And it talks about it in the Bible, yeah. makes a reference to it, and I think they found it in maybe the 90s or 2000s. They found hundreds and hundreds of things in the script, in, in the right. 
in, in archaeology that, are, yeah. that have been declared in the scriptures proving that the Bible was right. Yeah. And, and it wouldn't even matter if there was nothing. That's true. Because so much of That's it is true. hidden. Martin, I don't need archaeology to prove to me For that sure. God exists. Yeah, exactly. I don't need archaeology to prove to me that Jesus Christ is the Lord and Savior. I know the Lord Jesus Christ. I know him as Savior. I know him as Lord. I know all that. And not because somebody told me, not because the Catholic Church raised me up, or that the Evangelical Church raised me up, or that the Charismatics taught me anything. Yes, I learned something from everywhere. But until you come to a knowledge, a personal knowledge of the mm -hmm. Lord, you really don't know anything. Which reminds me, uh, today I was corresponding with, with another fellow, and he was writing to me and saying, can you tell me about uh, John MacArthur? And can you tell me about, was it Jay? Can't remember his last name. Um, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. The names don't really matter. Uh, uh, I appreciate your, your wisdom and counsel, and I'd like to hear what you have to say about that, about their methods of- Counseling. Counseling. Yeah. So, um, I told them, it's not about a method of counseling. Didn't you kind of say, I think you need a counselor? Yeah. 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 Which is pretty fair. And, and then interestingly enough, even though he valued your counsel and you told him to get a counselor and not be one, suddenly all his radiation for your counsel went out the window. He didn't think I was so wise anymore. Yeah, that's right. It's yeah. remarkable. People say things, they don't know what they're saying, they don't yeah. believe what they're saying. They really don't. But they're, they're only talking about how and, and, and this is something that happens, the Lord experienced it, we experience it. When you're, when you're speaking truth from above, it's, it's coherent and it's, it, it's, you know, it's kind of vernacular, but it's like, it's mind-blowing. Because suddenly, for once, there's this... Car carnal mind-blowing. Yeah, there's this, there's this clear bell ringing and it puts all the pieces together and every, I, I remember hearing the truth for the first time in my life and I was like, oh, okay, so you mean everything makes sense and there are no internal contradictions. I thought I just had to accept all this bull crap that right. never made any sense right. to me. Because you not, after all, you, don't un you can't understand yeah. everything. You're not God. And, and, they, and right. they always tell you that, right? Well, his ways are above your ways. And yeah, you're right. Like, well, if that means that nothing makes sense, then yeah. I'm still having a hard time with this. And then suddenly everything comes together yeah. and I think people experience that. Yeah. And they enjoy it because I think as human beings created in God's image, we are kind of hardwired to appreciate coherence and order and, right, you know, mm -hmm. we, people like clean rooms, they don't like messy rooms, mm -hmm. even though they can't help but make a messy room. Mm -hmm. And so they have that moment where they kind of appreciate what you're saying and all the pieces come together and it's so wonderful, but they, they can't stomach the truth about themselves. That's, and so that's they, where the and so the Lord the said, I'm not here to, to fill your bellies. We, we can sure enjoy hearing the truth, the ugly truth about somebody else. Sure. It takes the focus off of us. It right. distracts everybody's attention. And it explains why we're so deceived, because Mystery Babylon, the harlot, deceived yeah. us. Yeah, yeah, right. Blame it on something or somebody yeah. else, always. Yeah. Yeah. But we're it. We're the man of sin. We were the people... I mentioned this to, to a few people today. We were the people in the Garden of Eden who right. chose to eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Blame it on Adam and Eve. We were Adam and Eve. That's where we were. We were there. Yeah. And we were there. We did it. We were Adam, sons of the earth. We were there. That was our choice. We're all guilty, every one of us. Not just the Jews for crucifying the Christ. Uh, Christ didn't just die for the Jews and how can I put it? He didn't just die for, for some guilty people, but we're not guilty. Mm -hmm. We're guilty. We're all guilty. We all crucified him. Mm -hmm. And the Lord used the Jews to do that. And the Muslims come along and they blame the Jews. Oh, they killed their God. They killed their Messiah. They killed Jesus. We love Jesus more than, more than you Christians do, more than you Jews do. That's a lie. That's, that's, that's BS. They say God has no son. That's right. So if you're saying God has no son, then you're calling Jesus Christ a loony tune. That's uh, right. A, a, a loser, yeah. a madman, yeah. a psych ward patient. Yeah. Because yeah. he said he was the son of God. That's right. And they say God has no son. And they say that he never died. Right. That's not true. Right. That's not true at all. 
They say he was never raised from the dead. That's not true. And that's just Satan there denying. It, it's like he's just denying the fact that he got beaten fair and square. And tell me, how is it that Muslims can go ahead and tell all these lies against Christianity and against Judaism? And of course, the Jews also said God has no son. Right. Think that's about why that. That's why they're stuck with the Muslims. Talk about there. poetic jo justice, yes. right? You know, right on their Temple Mount, on yeah. the on the on the presumed, Mosque Mount, you know, the, mount, yeah. the, 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 the the on the Dome of the Rock. Right inside it says, God has no son. Biggest lie ever told, mm -hmm. right? But what, how did they get away with that? It was because the Jews killed the son. They said, God has no son. They killed him because mm -hmm. he came along and says, I'm the son of God. I am my father. I'm, I'm one with my father. My father is one with me. Right. And, and they were the ones who slew him. But now here we can, we can talk about how the Jews, oh, those dirty Jews, they killed God. They killed Jesus Christ. They did it as appointed, it says in the scriptures, as spoken by the apostles, the apostle Peter, they killed the Christ because it was predetermined by God. It was predetermined. God ordained all of that. He was the perfect, Jesus Christ was the perfect sacrifice mm -hmm. for sin. He was the perfect sacrifice to atone for all of mankind. Um, where am I here now? They, the Jews are blamed for killing the Christ. And, and, and condemned as criminals for doing that. But it was all of us who killed the Christ. And the Jews were used as God's instrument mm -hmm. to perform, to be high priests, to so be the priests of the world, the nation of priests in the world, to, to bring about that atonement for this, on behalf of the whole world. The sacrifice had to be offered by the that's priests. That's right, that's right. By the appointed people. That's right. Otherwise, they just, the, the Jews couldn't offer a sacrifice for sin I mean, no. every, every time they appointed any old person, aside from a high priest or Levite, to offer the sacrifices, they ended up with God's wrath on them. Yes. Yeah, that's and, right. and, and the sacrifices were not accepted. Right. Period. Right. None, of, none no. of the offerings that went up at Beersheba or whatever were accepted at the high places in, they, in Israel. They were all right. rejected. Every that's last right. one of them, yeah. garbage. Yeah. So all these things, both good and evil, have been ordained of God. God has planned the whole, the whole stage. Right. For to know, for to know that 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 G, that God is in full control of everything, purposes everything, works both good and evil, light and darkness. That's a wonderful place to be. That's just a wonderful place to be. And when the price is paid, the price is paid. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because They're building a third temple there now. So they can keep paying an already paid price. So, so that they can what? Have sacrifices, a Levitical priesthood, and sacrifices that makes null and void everything that Jesus Christ and the scriptures teach. Right. That makes it null and void. It's like they, they want their, 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 can you imagine if your debt was already paid? Yeah. You, you, and, you, uh, you, you, were, you were deep in debt and a benevolent person came along and said, it's okay, I got it. Right. And then they keep paying the paying the debt. And, and they're like, the no, fault. no, we got it. We got. We'll, we'll pay for it. Yeah. We'll pay for it. Yeah, yeah. So you know what the the theme of this talk here is? They're all wrong. They're all wrong. The Muslims are wrong. The Christians are wrong. The mm -hmm. Jews are wrong. They're all wrong. All religion is wrong. All that nonsense out there. These carnal carnal cogitations, the, uh, ideas, cause, notions. Because the new religion that I I see forming. Uh, in, in, you know, we have a world filled with chaos and liars, and then there's this, 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 and we've appreciated a bunch of them. We've talked about this, right? But there's this whole race or or class, not a class, but there's a whole group of people, and they're representing the the what the alternative right. Everybody right. has a right. version of, and you know, I don't know what all right means. It has all its tags, but essentially, right. it was like. The existing right is boring and compromised, and so we're an alternative to that. Right. I, you know, but, but they, don't, they don't have any answers either. They've just formed a new religion whereby knowing stuff is required to be, yeah. you know, you, you have to have your, your intellectual ducks in a row, and you have to know some political history, and yeah. you have to know some economic and socio-political concepts, and then you can speak on what everybody should be doing. And, and it and, doesn't go anywhere. And maybe a more, yes, that's right. And, and maybe a more a particularly uh, insidious, deceptive approach is where people name Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. They 
they say that they believe in him, mm -hmm. right? And there are lots of guys out there doing well, that. Look at Lynn Wood. That's right. Uh, Lynn Wood, John MacArthur, there's so many of them, some thousands of preachers. And whether it's a pr prosperity gospel or whatever, but a lot of them are saying Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. But they're really not pointing to him. And, and, and they're Jesus, not pointing to and him. Jesus talks about that, right? He said, he said to the Pharisees. And he, they ended when they worshiped me with their lips. And, and, and he, says, he says, look, if I came in my own name, you'd all be cheering. And just think, if a man came and he was, he was, Jesus comes and he's doing miracles. Yeah. Like legit stuff, not yeah. this fake yeah. crap everybody's yeah. pushing out. Yeah. But legitimately raising dead, should be rotting people. And, and all these incredible miracles. And when he did that, they sought to kill him for it. Right. Like but, with Lazarus. But if, if, he had, if he had just inserted a tiny little bit of showmanship for his own glory, the people would have been knocking down the doors. They'd be and, cheering. And I, and I see that perfect example is with Lynn Wood. When he came and he said, Jesus Christ is the answer, they said, lock him up. He's a loony. What the hell is wrong with him? His family wouldn't talk to him anymore. Mm -hmm. And, and, and now, now that he's coming, and he's representing himself mm -hmm. and, and his, his new fame and people are recognizing him and now that he's coming in his own name all the people are cheering and receiving him. I, 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 yeah. It just takes a little bit of, of as soon as people it's like as soon as Satan gets to them and tempts them with a little bit of glory for them just a little piece for you yeah. just a tiny piece you don't yeah. have to give just like Ananias and Sapphira just hold a little piece for yourself right and then that's it. That's it. Done. You're done. Toast. And then you just see, you see, you know, we appreciated Lynn Wood. We spoke well of him. And, and I, I like the guy. I, well. But, but you, you see that the, the moment they take that little piece for themselves and they get the crowd worked up into a frenzy and, and then it's over. Everything is empty. You know what? I believe that's what happened to uh, Benjamin Netanyahu. Right. Prime Minister of Israel. Uh, he's been a wonderful man, a mm -hmm. powerful fighter, a powerful representative of, uh, of Israel. Uh, he could be arguably the, the greatest prime minister that Israel mm -hmm. ever had. Uh, there, there's uh, David Ben-Gurion, the first prime minister. Uh, he had to be a great man to lead the people through that huge crisis. Mm -hmm. God had him there for that purpose. Uh, I think of uh, Menachem Begin. I thought a lot of, of him. I, I thought that he was a, a great man. Uh, those are the two that stand out in the past. And then I think of Benjamin Netanyahu, and, uh, and I think he's done wonderful things, but he, 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 he fell somewhere. He just, he just, he began to seek more for his prime ministership and more for hanging on to a majority mm -hmm. than, than he was defending Israel and looking looking for mm -hmm. Israel's best interest. Something clicked there, something switched. He switched tracks, <coughs> the, 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 what did they call it, a switchman on the tracks or whatever. Mm -hmm. and, uh, the well, tracks like changed just a little bit, they went off to the side, and that was it. A and Aiken then, was and there. Sure he was. Aiken was there sure. fighting, yes. putting his life at risk, yeah. fighting in the Lord's army, yeah. defeating the Promised Land, yeah. but he took a portion for himself. Yeah. yeah. And then the whole thing goes to hell. Yeah. And, and, and then and then he recognized Joe Biden uh, as, as the true president elect called him uh, a friend yeah a buddy we go we go back a long long way Joe and I what and now we're seeing what Joe is all about so if you were buddies with Joe is that what you were all about BB is that what you were about Prime Minister Netanyahu is that what you were about you were all about what Joe who is manifesting himself now and preaching, speaking out, revealing his colors in full, blatantly, in your face. And that's, that's who you hung out with and that's who you brag about being, being buddies with. You wanted to flatter him so that you could cover yourself so that when, when you figured Joe was the winner and he came in, that you would be on his good side. Are you on his good side now? Tell me, did it pay? You can't be friends with Israel and Biden at the same time. There's no way. Yeah. There's no way. And now, and now, and now, uh, he, he's making all the wrong decisions. He's even bringing in opposition Arab parties to try and form a, a union to 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 get the majority. Majorities, majority 
uh, government is what he's after now. And it's pushing, not Israel. It's no longer Israel. Pushing the universal vaccination of every Israeli? Yes. Ugh. And you know what? It's not even about being for Israel. That, that's, 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 that's what's needed. That's what was needed till now. Mm -hmm. But now what mm -hmm. has to happen now mm -hmm. is that he has to be for God. Mm -hmm. I asked um, for Jesus Christ for Jesus Christ for absolutely Jesus Christ. exactly because the father has given all power to judge the world and rule the world Amen. to his son yes he's retired in yes. a certain sense yes and he's given all judgment to the son and so now and now it now it's no longer good enough for the Jew to say oh I, I honor the God of Abraham I honor the God of Abraham and the Lord's like really because if you honor me you would honor my son amen and you won't honor my amen. son and so Israel has to honor Jesus Christ. Yes. And it's got to come out of their lips. Yes. Jesus Christ is Lord. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That's what has to happen. Mm -hmm. And it will. And it will. It will. He said it will. He'd take will. out their heart of stone. Yeah. And when the Lord's uh, done with his chastening, correction of, of the Jews, of Israel, as harsh it, as it has been, He'll put away the enemy. He did every other time. The he whole did Bible's every full of the miraculous examples of it. Yeah. Isn't it amazing how you can read the Bible, you can see the proof there, the prophecies that came to pass, mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and the things that are happening. Armies of 200,000 knocked to the ground. Uh, the was testimonies it? Yeah. that there was uh, 185,000. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, the testimonies that are in the scriptures, they're all there for proof. The prophecies that, that were made thousands of years ago coming to pass. And people still can't, can't come to terms with the fact that the Bible is true, that the Bible is God's record, and that all these other things are going to happen. And that God will restore the land to the Jews, to the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yeah, literally so. Yeah, very literally. He's faithful to his promises. Amen. Amen. He doesn't screw up the genetics. Yeah. So... We have casualties, like as far as I'm concerned, you're going to be seeing the casualtiness of uh, Benjamin Netanyahu. You're just going to see it. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been saying that for some time. And it's a sad thing. I, uh, I've, I've appreciated the guy very much, a wonderful, eloquent speaker, knowledgeable, all that. But you know what? In the end, it's not the righteousness of man. It's not, it's not his power, his strength, his intelligence, or anything else that counts. We're going to find that God has taken the weak and the base and the foolish things of, of this world to, to confound the wisdom of the wise. God is going to come out glorified, not man. And, and the answer is so simple. You know what I mean? Like everybody wants to talk about the issue and chew it to death and talk about governmental policies. And, and it's like the, yeah. answer, the answer is really yeah. simple. It's yeah. like your song there. All yeah. you have to do is ask and he'll yeah. grant your petitions. Yeah. And the very best that we can ask is just to be with Jesus. Amen. <laughs> like, yeah. you know, and, and people are like, that's so cheesy, that's so religious. Childish. But, like, but well, childish it is. Yeah. And that's what yeah. the Lord's looking for. Yeah, amen. You know, and people want to be... Unless you become as little children, you, you'll in no way enter the kingdom yeah, of God. Yeah, and people, people want to be childish, and yet they want to be... Superheroes. You know, what, 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 accredited intellectuals. Yeah, yeah. They want to have the wisdom of adults, yeah. and, and yet... Yeah and yet somehow feign the faith of a child. And, it, yeah. and you kind of have to give one up. Yeah. Are we talking like kids? You bet we are. We're speaking the truth. Right, exactly. Don't kids have a way of speaking the truth? <laughs> yeah. yeah, they nail it, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think we can... What, th there's just one more thing I wanted to say here. I, I, seen, I, I, I still... I'll, I'll reiterate this probably for, for as long as things are going on. But I, I, I just have to say that nobody is pointing to Jesus Christ as the answer. They're talking about, say, uh, President Trump uh, prevailing and the elections coming up. They talk about getting together and, and organizing against the left. They're talking about strategies. They're talking about voting. They're talking about anything and everything. They're talking everything. about things that people do. Yes. And yeah. not talking about things that the Lord does. No. And yet they'll, they'll say, well, the Lord will get us to do this. He'll gather us. He'll say that. They, they will say that. He doesn't need people. But, well, he uses them, right? He used right. Israel. He used Samson, and Solomon, but, and but David, he, and whatever else. But yeah. the thing is, people aren't pointing to him as the answer. Right. And look at Gideon. 
He used yeah. people. Yeah. But he made sure not to use so many people that people got credit. That's right. That's right. People are involved. This faith is required to actuate his will on the earth, and he gives yes. that. Yes. But he still, he, he never leaves room for confusion. He never leaves a space where, well, maybe it was the people that did that. Right. Right. When the Lord glorifies himself, it's like the children of Israel being freed from Egypt. That's right. And plagues and, and seas splitting in half yeah. and darkness. He, he and, hardened Pharaoh's heart yeah. that he might show his power among right. the nations. Geographically accurate hailstorms, you know. Yeah. Here, 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 but not Goshen. Yeah. yeah. Here, 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 but yeah. not Goshen. Yeah. I mean, he makes a scene when yeah. he glorifies himself. Yeah, yeah he does. And, and he covers his tracks completely. For instance, there have been people out there who are saying, well, scientifically speaking, there was a, an earthquake at the, or a, a right. volcanic eruption right. at that time, right. and this came, and the lice came, and, and the whatever mm -hmm. else came along. Mm -hmm. But how did he single out Goshen? Yeah, right, exactly. And everything else, and just where the Jews were. Right. <laughs> you know, he just makes such fools of these people. Right. You know, they're, they're, they're damnable idiots. Yeah, the and we've all been there. It's not as though we're the smart ones here. We've all been damnable idiots. But Jesus. praise God, it's, it's the blood of Jesus that sets us free. Right. Faith in his blood. Faith in the Lord Jesus Christ sounds, it might sound gruesome, it might sound awful, but that's the way God works. It's the way he works. The, the God of love, of mush and all that, that's, that's all garbage. You, you people are worshiping another, another God. Well, they're worshiping, uh, they're, they're, they're imposing a woman on yeah. the Father. A woman's passions, affections, right. uh, femi femininity. Right, and they're, they're not acknowledging. And, and the Lord has that in him. Yes, he does. Right, I, yes. how I would have gathered them as a hen gathers her chicks. Sure. That's all there, but, the, but that's the only portion they acknowledge. Yeah, yeah. Right? In him is both male and female. Yes. They only acknowledge, and, and even there, hardly. Right. But they, they're, they're, they're so badly wanting God to coddle them and understand all their problems. and Like, like they want God to be, oh, I'm not my Johnny. No, no. You, right. wouldn't, you wouldn't do that. Right. I understand. It's okay. Yeah. There, there's a passage that I was remembering today and, and other days recently, and that is where the Lord said to the people, he said, do you think that those, what, was it 18, uh, upon whom the, the wall fell, do mm -hmm. you think that they were more and, and killed? Do you think that they were more wicked than, 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 than anybody else? And he says, uh, I tell you, no. But unless you repent, you'll all likewise perish. Or those people uh, whose blood, Pilate, was it Pilate that yeah. mixed with, uh, with the sacrifices? Do you think that, uh, that they, those people were more wicked than, than, uh, um, mm -hmm. than, than, than everybody else? He says, no, but I tell you that unless you repent, you'll likewise perish. Mm -hmm. Wasn't it interesting that he was saying everybody was wicked? That they all needed repentance. They all needed forgiveness. Everyone, mm -hmm. every mm -hmm. one of us. Mm -hmm. But people would say, oh, those guys must have been bad. That's another thing he was pointing out. When those tragedies come along, it was because of wickedness. It was because of sin. It wasn't just a, a, an accidental event. And right. that's Meron today in Israel. Why did that happen? How ironic that that that, uh, what, they had these bon this bonfire, or they have these bonfires, annual celebrations or whatever, and they're, what, uh, in memory of, what, 24,000 that died so many years ago, many centuries ago? It was something, it was something like that. It was, a, it was a, I don't remember the details, but you can find them out very easily. And um, here, in this same event, this same anniversary or whatever it is, Another 45 people died, many more were injured, probably more will die. Uh, why did that happen? Was that just a, an accident? Was that just something where a bunch of innocent people mm -hmm. died? Not true at all. God does not say that they were innocent. He says they were guilty. And I hear Avi Abelow and, and others saying, what, people that say things like that are so hard-hearted and cruel, or they, those are such, such horrible things to say. It's the truth. And if you hear the truth and believe the truth, you will understand what's going on. And you'll be saved from that kind of destruction. And you'll be saving others from that kind of destruction. You'll be bringing them out of that sin that causes those problems to happen. God is judging the world. And now the, 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 uh, the shots there in Israel, oh Lord, the, the people are just... Shots referring to uh, the vaccines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
It's horrible, just horrible. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and Netanyahu was pushing those. Mm -hmm. Pfizer's, he was pushing those. Is he going to be able to sleep with himself? Or sleep? Is he going to be able to do that? I don't see how. I don't see how. It's such it's a, no and, and I don't believe that he was doing that deliberately. But when, he took, when you take that little sidetrack. He, he doesn't keep you from being stupid anymore. When you take that little bit of a sidetrack, you're, you're walking into, into trouble. Mm -hmm. If you're not straight down, straight down on the road yeah. all the way, you're in trouble. And, 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 that's what and you, you may not be intending to do those things, and I don't believe for a moment that Bibi was intending it's that. It's the Lord that keeps he you wasn't. from being an idiot. Yes. Right? Yes. And, you know, you, you, people think it's their mind, it's their intellect, it's their research that keeps you from being a fool. Yeah. The Lord is the only no. one who can keep you from just being a total freaking idiot. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, I, I, yeah, you can just be so stupid without yeah. the Lord. Yeah. Oh. And you can have all the information, you can have <laughs> it, and you got somebody like, okay, so you see A and B, and, and you're like, okay, and then you just go off and do the opposite, like an idiot. Yeah. And, and Been there, know, done yeah, it. Exactly. And unless the Lord builds a house, the builder builds in vain. Unless the Lord watches, the watcher watches in vain. Amen. You know, if you don't have, if you don't have him, you're useless. You have nothing. You're, well, you're worse than that. You can have everything, and if you don't have him, you have nothing. Right. You can have nothing, and if you have him, you have everything. You have everything. And, and Isn't that a, a remarkable thing? And, and the disciples there, when they said, because it's, it's the main story, right? Every time people are like, well, you know, there was that one boy and he was blind and the disciples, they thought it was because of sin and the Lord said it was just so he could glorify himself. So you see, just, right. because, just because somebody is suffering some bad situation, it doesn't mean it's because of sin. Right. And, and yet the disciples who were disciples, which means they had been learning from Jesus Christ himself personally, right. said to their teacher, who sinned, this man or his parents? because they had been listening to what they were being told. Mm -hmm. And so now they're asking. Mm -hmm. And the Lord doesn't say, what are you talking about? Just because somebody's blind, it doesn't mean they're sinners. Right. He doesn't say anything like that. Right. right. And, and he, and, and also- he didn't say anything I, like that at all. When I was raised, I thought he was literally saying like, no, 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 he's innocent. I just wanted to make an example here. I just wanted to show everybody how great I am at healing people. Yeah. And it's not like that. Yeah. I believe that in that one exception, and it wasn't even an exception, really. He was just saying, look, who sinned and who didn't sin isn't the main focus mm -hmm. of what's happening here. Mm -hmm. The Lord receiving the glory is above all of that. Mm -hmm. Right? Sin or no sin. Yeah. And, and I, I, I see a lot of people using that passage. Because what do you see after that? What do you see? The parents? Mm -hmm. they, they suck up to the synagogue. Yeah. And they, and they don't stand up for Jesus Christ, who right. healed their own son. Right. So tell me, in, in all their blindness, did they not deserve a blind son? Mm -hmm. mm. Because yeah. they, they didn't stick with the man who miraculously gave their child back the sight. Many, many fold yes. are the works of the Lord. Many fold. There are several things breaking out. Right. It's, it's not as cut and dry as people think. And yet, and so they'll say, well then, how can you talk so confidently about God if, if nothing is cut and dry? To the saints, to the children of God, yes. who have learned from him, it is cut and dry. You right. know, you see, you understand. Right. And whatever you don't understand, he gives you, freely gives to you. Ask and you shall, right. you shall receive. Surely and, and it happens, it happens. People don't think that they can hear from <coughs> God. Uh, uh, Avi A. Below, I heard him say s several things, wonderful things. I, I've appreciated a lot of things he said. But now he's saying some things we can never know. Right. Who is he to say that? That's right. nonsense. That's total nonsense. And Jesus Christ Bobby. says the opposite. That's, you know, y you'll come into the truth, you'll know all things. Yes. That's nonsense when you say you can never know. Yes, you can know. You don't know God. That's what, the problem. You, you might be religious. You might be saying all kinds of things about God and Israel and about Jerusalem being the eternal capital mm -hmm. of, of Israel. Okay. But, but, but do you, have you met God? Have you, you, you think you can't hear his voice? You can hear his voice. You can hear his voice, but it's only going to be through Jesus Christ that you hear it. That's the only way. Mm -hmm. God will speak to you. You won't know who it is. Saul of Tarsus, he didn't know who was speak, speak, speaking to him at first when he first uh, got confronted by him. And he says, Lord, who are you? Mm -hmm. Right? Who are you? He didn't know who it was. And then suddenly he knew. Mm -hmm. He knew. 
the moment Jesus said, uh, uh, um, Isn't it hard for you to kick against the ghost? Identified himself yeah. to him. He knew right there. It was, that, it was that swift, that easy, that simple. And from there on, Saul of Tarsus was turned right around. He was a Pharisee. He learned under Gamaliel. He, he had a, a great... Rock star resume. Yeah. Amen. He was an up and coming religious. And then, and then later on, what did he say in Philippians? He says, he says, uh, all these things. I was, I was born from the tribe of Benjamin. I had this. I had that. I was trained in the strictest uh, Pharisee sect, mm -hmm. and studied under Gamaliel. And, and it's uh, all a bunch of crap. <laughs> yeah. And he says, I counted all as dung for the excellency of the knowledge of Jesus Christ, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things. Be and before and he wasn't moaning and groaning about it either. Right. He was so thankful. Yeah. You're just guessing. You're just kicking around in the dark, guessing at who God is. Yeah. Looking at sure. the scriptures. Right, or or what to, he does or how he can. Yeah. And God does this and he does this and that's why he made this law. And, and that's what I remember growing up is that people would read the Bible and then they would, they would guess what God was like. Now, they yeah. made it sound like it was really scientific and, and concrete. Right, right. But it was like, well, and that's the way God works and God does this. And we see here in this passage that God does this when this. And they're trying to figure out all these patterns in God's behavior. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> you might as well give it up. Because yeah. if you're trying to figure out a pattern of God's behavior, you're going to lose your damn mind. <laughs> yeah. You know, don't and murder. your mind is damned when yeah, you're doing that. Exactly. That's what I mean. You sure. Know? Uh, uh, don't, don't take a life. Oh, but take your own son's life. And don't do this. But now do that. And go marry a prostitute. And, yeah. and you're getting all these. And you weren't supposed to go marrying a prostitute. Yeah. You know, but he was told to by yeah. God. Yeah, yeah. You have all these weird things happening, yeah. and if you're trying to figure well, out... Like, which one was it? Uh, you're talking about who? Wasn't it... Samson? No, no, no. Uh, wasn't it one of the prophets? Yes. Yeah. Hosea? Yeah, it was, it was Hosea. Yeah. Wasn't it? He's instructed yeah. to go marry a prostitute. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. And... and and Samson was, uh, was in his heart to go and marry... Uh, and, and it says, and the Lord moved the him. Heathen. Yeah, the Lord moved that's him. right. And the parents didn't understand. Yeah, and the parents are like, what are you doing? You're not supposed to be going outside Israel. And, and it says it was the Lord that, that yeah. moved him in that direction. And he was supposed to be eating kosher. Right. And there he was digging the honey out of a dead right. lion's carcass. Right. I mean, the Lord was just upsetting everything. Right. The whole thing. And, and so I'm... I'm, I'm not, by, not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. And there's Samson lifting the city gates and right. hauling them up the hill. Yeah, the strength of man, <laughs> yeah. and yet it was the power of God. Yeah, it's amazing. But you, I, I can tell you from the, the limited experience that I have is that if you're going to try to stick God in a box, you're going to lose your mind. And you said damned mind. Damned mind, and, and it's and, true. And let me, let me qualify that here for, for you nice Christians. <laughs> it says, he that doesn't believe is damned. Right. Right? <laughs> the fool has said in his heart there is no exactly. God. Right? And so if, if, if you're damned, uh, that's because your carnal mind has determined what's right and wrong, mm -hmm. what's you're, true and false. Is that enmity with it's God? A damned, it's a damned mind. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. If you're trying to use your mind to figure out God, it's only because your mind is damned. Yeah, yeah. And all you have to do is ask. Uh, yeah, amen. All you have to do is ask God, who are you? What are you like? He'd love to tell you. You know? And what's the very best that you can ask? Yeah, just to be with Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. That's what yeah. it is. That's just to what be, it is. Just to be sitting next to him, talking yeah. to him. Yeah. Yeah. To hear from him. So I think we've said enough for, for <coughs> now. Till next time, look to the Lord. Amen.